Hey guys, welcome back to the bottom line in front of the YouTube channel where we travel and go on adventures and we tell you about it. Today's adventure in this video is about elephant sanctuaries, elephants that were mistreated because all across Southeast Asia previously elephants, you know, you've seen tourists riding them, which by the way is not cool anymore. Do not ride elephants. They're always on all these circus acts. They're like on the streets begging for money, not the elephants themselves. The owners are using the elephants. The elephants don't have any concept of like financial instruments like dollars that would be of no use to them. They don't even speak English. Anyway, Elephant Sanctuaries are awesome. Elephant Nature Park is kind of a conglomerate organization that organizes a lot through Southeast Asia. That's who we book through that you'll see in this video. But what we're doing is a new project called Sunshine for Elephants. They only have four elephants. So they're used to humans. They're very friendly. It costs you about $75 per person. That includes pickup from your hotel in Chiang Mai. Did I mention we're in Northern Thailand? I don't know if I did. It includes pick up from your hotel and a meal, hang out with elephants all day, walk around, bathe them in a river, get muddy. They're quite friendly and touchy even when they're covered in mud and then they'll bring you back to your hotel. Super cool experience and totally recommend it. Unlike in years past, Thailand's elephant experiences today allow you to get a bit more involved than just being an onlooker at a show or zoo. Just only, only as soon as we showed up, we were put to work preparing some fruit for our friends before they arrived. That way. This watermelon has to be peeled because there's an old elephant here with no teeth. And so we peel it for her so she can eat it. You know, like grandma, just I've never peeled a watermelon before. So we've prepared this snack for four elephants. This is not even a meal for them. This is just a snack, bananas and watermelons. We peeled some for the one that doesn't have teeth. And the point of this is so that they get to know us and trust us and you only gain trust by giving free food. So then they get to know us and then we can go for a walk with them after they're like, okay, I like these people. They're wearing elephant shirts and they gave me watermelon and bananas. Who wouldn't like a person like that? On the way to your lunch, the elephants will show you their favorite scratching posts, their favorite mud baths, and the best leafy greens to eat. So he's just gonna like give himself a real good scratch. Oh yeah, he's really getting after it. You gotta get this. I don't have anything for you. Nothing. We gained their trust, took them for a walk. But they are very insistent that if I'm gonna walk with you, you're gonna feed me bananas. And they will probe you. Where are your bananas? So Thailand has an interesting history with elephants. In 1989 is when they did away with the logging industry. So Thailand lost two thirds of its forest to the logging industry. So after that was banned, you had all these elephants that didn't like have an existence and they weren't ready to be back in the wild. So they went into like tourists riding them and then you know walking around the street, just like circus acts and stuff like that, which has slowly gone away because of people like us, like you and like me, responsible tourists that go, you know what? I don't wanna see the elephants doing tricks I don't want to ride the elephant. I just want to see the elephant, like, especially like this in its natural habitat, much better than, you know, in some cage or whatever. Uh, and so it's really on the decline. And honestly, I think this is a much better way to see elephants. Three of the elephants at this project were previously used to carry tourists on their backs. And one was subjected to pulling logs up and down mountains. <laughs> You're making a mess. Look, I could have made that into a ball for you, but no. You're being impatient. Okay, here you go, here you go, here you go. Oh my goodness. Here, here, here. Oh yeah, there you go. Last one. Okay. That's all. That's all. That's all I have. That's all I have, Liam. Since you're essentially just tagging along with the elephants, they'll eventually decide it's time for their daily bath. So they're they're pretty 
interested in the bananas, that's how you convince them to walk down the path, but sometimes they decide they want to eat some vegetation yeah. instead. Um, but for the most part, they'll follow you if you have a banana bag. Here. And you continue to feed them. Okay, I'm officially out of bananas. Mm -hmm. But I know some people who have more bananas. <laughs> <laughs> Let's plan now. We're gonna go bathe the elephants or maybe just like hang out with them in the river. We've got our shorts on, we've got our towels, maybe take some video while we're in the water. And then that ends our trip at the Elephant Nature Park. Yeah. Sunshine with elephants, it's been a great time. Before you know it, okay. your time with the elephants is over and you're headed back to Chiang Mai. Aww. <laughs> Looks clean to me. Don't act like you haven't pooped in a river before. We all have. No. <laughs> no.